Hello, I'm Rebecca Vaughn. It's Saturday, September 28th. Here's a look at the top stories from your trusted local news source. A free transportation system in Johnson County says it needs more drivers. The program is called SEATS, and people who aren't able to drive schedule pickups and drop-offs for doctor's appointments or grocery store runs. Johnson County SEATS says it doesn't have enough drivers to meet its needs. It's working on adding decals to its fleet to advertise open positions, as well as improve its hiring and training processes. The job market just isn't there. We're not, we're not getting applicants in the door. Um, we're having more applicants that come in the door that aren't continuing to be employed for various reasons. The starting wage for a Johnson County Seats driver is $21.80 per hour. You can find a link to apply in this story at KCRG.com. Some Iowans with the Red Cross are helping people displaced by Hurricane Helene. The Red Cross posted these photos online of two volunteers heading to Georgia. In the past few days, the Red Cross has helped open more than 140 shelters for more than 9,000 people. In Greenfield, Iowa is thanking Ragby Riders for donating more than $50,000 to help recover from May's EF4 tornado. The community was hit by the storm just two months before hosting Ragby. Riders rode through some of the worst hit areas. The city says it hopes to use some of the money to help residents with housing issues and to support fire, school, and medical facilities in Greenfield. Crews have finished up construction on a high voltage transmission line between Iowa and Wisconsin. Conservation groups filed a lawsuit to block the final mile of construction near Cassville, arguing the line would damage the land, but an appeals court allowed work to continue. A southbound exit on Interstate 380 in Cedar Rapids is closed this weekend for repairs. Southbound exit 20B at 7th Street E closed last night and will remain closed until 5 o'clock Monday morning. Crews will be working on repairing joints in the ramp. Drivers are asked to follow the posted detour or find a different route for the weekend. For all the latest headlines, download the KCRG TV9 News app. You'll get breaking news alerts and can watch stories and newscasts when it's convenient for you. Download the KCRG TV9 News app for free on both iPhone and Android devices. Thanks for watching. Tune into TV9 at KCRG.com for the latest updates and breaking news.